one is integral and one is definite. So, what is the meaning of integral? I will talk about that first and then what is the meaning of definite. So, if you think about integral, then it is very simple. The integral is actually uh, the result we are getting after integration. So, I'm just writing this. What is integral? Integral is the result uh, of uh, integration or from. I can write from. Okay, the result from integration process. Okay. So, there may be different, different questions. There may be different formula. But ultimately, we will get a result. So, that result is actually called the integral. So, <clears throat> if you just think about some example, say, uh, I'm doing one problem quickly, small. Say, this is integration, and then I'm writing e to the power 2x minus 5 dx. So, what will be the answer for this? E to the power 2x minus 5 by 2. Correct. So, everyone is okay with this? this yes, is the, sir. This is the function of function concept and the final result will be e to the power 2x minus 5 divided by 2. And you can put 1c. So, that is the uh, answer. Okay. So, what is the integral here? Whatever the result you have got. That's it. So, if I ask you what is the integral, actually integral is this. Okay. So, this is the integral understanding. Let me give you another example. Maybe that will help you later. Say, integration and then I am writing sine sine 4x then dx so what will be the answer for this just tell me the final answer cos, cos 4x minus cos 4x by 4 exactly minus is important so minus cos 4x divided by 4. So, that will be the answer and you can put 1c. So, this is again, if you think about what is the integral here, so this result is called integral. Fine. Now, we need to think what is definite integral. Then, in this case, the definite integral is actually the specific result of the integral value. So, let me write it down here, uh, that is, what is definite integral? So, I can write the definite integral is uh, the specific value of the result on, uh, okay, based on, based on, given range of x values. So, what I am saying, the definite integral means a specific value of the result, that is the integral, and it will come from the given range of x values, given range of x values. So, that means, on the right side, example, e to the power x, uh, 2x minus 5 divided by 2 plus c, this is the integral. If I want to find the definite integral, then there should be a range of values given in the question, so that I can find out the definite integral. So, what is the range of values? 
range of values is actually there will be a lower boundary and there will be one upper boundary so it is something like from from uh, a to b something like this from a to b there will be range so a is the lower boundary and b is the upper boundary but everything is about x so be careful this is about x value so what is the meaning of x actually x actually we mean that this is the independent variable so when we write dx this is actually x and the range of value will be given about x so there will be lower and upper two values for meaning the range of x values so let me now uh, use this idea with an example so that you understand what is actually i mean by this so i mean let me take one simple example first okay i can take the examples what we have uh, got on the right side but not this more simple example say i am giving one question integration then it is x cube plus 2x and okay <laughs> let me write only two that will be more simple and then this is the problem and then dx because with respect to x and the range of values for x is given uh, with two numbers one number is one another number is three so one two three so we can call integration integration one two three then x cube plus two dx so that means the range of x values are given the lower boundary is one upper boundary is three and we will do one integration and finally we actually want the definite integral for this so what you will do in the next line in the next line you just do the integration as we do so we normally separate this thing so let us separate so one two three range will be written as it is and the first part is x cubed then dx and then plus then again integration with a range and the same range that is one two three and then two dx so this is the thing we normally do in the first line and then now you can apply the <coughs> integration formula so it will be x to the power four by four is that okay everyone is okay with this yes sir and then you use a bracket here and then one is the lower limit or lower boundary three is the upper boundary and then plus for two it will be two x for two it will be two x and then use the big bracket here and at the right side of your bracket you write the range of values for x and then in the next line you continue with calculation so how you continue with calculation you put the upper value first you put the upper value first that means 3 to the power 4 and then divided by 4 this is the upper value and you do minus and then the lower value lower value is 1 so x will be 1 now and it will be 1 to the power 4 divided by 4 so this is the first part so this is the first part you can use a bracket here uh, if you want this is up to you so this is for the first portion and the second part is same thing use the upper value first 
so 2 into 3 because the answer is 2x and you are putting x value as 3 and then minus then 2 into 1 because now the lower value x equals to 1 so you go for calculation so it will be uh, 3 to the power 4 that means 81 by 4 and it is 1 by 4 so 80 by 4 so 80 by 4 is uh, it is 20 and this is 6 minus 2 so 4 so 24, 24. this will be the final answer so you write the answer and then this 24 will be called the definite integral so definite integral is always a fixed value always a certain single value and that value will come from the calculation uh, with given range of x so there will be two values given one will be put in the lower portion of the integration symbol another value is used in the upper uh, area of integration symbol so this is the way you calculate now someone can think where is my c where is the c okay so for constant uh, definite integral does not include any constant that means for every definite integral question the constant c is meaningless okay so why meaningless because you can take one example say uh, we are uh, taking the example of this say this one so if you think about this part and if you write your answer is x to the power 4 by 4 and then there is a constant if you you think that the constant is included then you use a bracket the lower part is your lower boundary one then upper boundary three then you put the upper boundary that means you put the value three first so it will be three to the power four divided by four right and then plus c c is just a constant so you put the c and then minus then you put the lower value of x now so it will be 1 to the power 4 by 4 then plus c again so the function value with the upper boundary of x and with the lower boundary of x then in the next line you will see that the c plus c and minus c they are cancelled so every time it will be cancelled and only this part will come only this thing will come right so the constant value for definite integral will be not necessary so it is just meaningless here so every time you ignore c okay is that okay the logic is clear yes sir now if it is okay then i will show you some more problems so let us take the problems from right side what we have already done okay i'm erasing this part and now i am showing another problem sir can so, i ask you a question yes the definite integral may be like any kind of uh, integration with that we can do definite definite integral like exactly. function, function concept with function of function we have uv formula we can exactly. do anything exactly you are right you are right for any type of problem i can give you the definite integral question so that means the question can be anything and so you of will course not, uh, you will not mention that it is a definite integral you just no 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 of course no of course like three, three uh, one integration three like that In no, the no, yes 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 so 
it will be very very clear very simple and clear Excellent. because because you will see if you see this question then it is not definite integral question because there is no range of x values given so if you see that the x values are given so how it will be given it will be always written in the lower part of the integration symbol and, and upper part of the integration symbol so yes, there I will be two number given so if i if i give you the numbers like okay this is 0 2 0 2 2 or 3 so let me just write it like 0 to 3 okay so this is the question now now understand oh, okay i need to find out the specific value for this so i will do the integration first so how you can integrate this is only one part so no separation needed you will apply the function of function concept so actually you know what to do you will write e to the power 2x minus 5 and then divided by you can you can write with this division sign also or you can write it in the lower part also okay so you can write divided by d dx of 2x minus 5 because i thought this is my this is my x so now c is not important just just use a bracket so 0 to 3 are written in the right side of the bracket so you know this is e to the power 2x minus 5 and then divided by 2 because ddx of 2x minus 5 is only 2 so you use the bracket i am not putting the value in this line so i will go to the next line and then put the value so which value will be used first the upper one always the upper one okay always the upper value will come first okay so this will be e to the power 6 minus 5 so e to the power 6 minus 5 means what only one so you can write e and divided by 2 and then minus then put the lower x value so what is the lower x value e zero. to the power 0 minus 5 right 2 yes, into sir. 0 means 0 so 0 minus 5 so what is that e to the power minus 5 e to the power minus 5 and then divided by 2 okay so now you will you will calculator uh, use your calculator so the answer will be okay um, um answer will be one point one point three two something something so you can check i'm not sure can you check can somebody do it in your calculator possible yes sir i'm doing it okay so let me check whether I am right or wrong. One point three five six. Maybe. Yeah, good, good. So it is okay. Close. Right. Yes, sir. It's close okay close so good yes sir. okay good so so this is one question let us let us do the second question also okay let us do the second question and this time i am giving you the range of values that is x values are given say uh, one value is uh, one or no let me take a different thing say it is 0 0.3 and it is 1.2 okay let me just check what happens so you already know how to do the integration and the integration will be minus cos 4x and let me just I write it directly divided by 4 let me just write it directly the answer it is divided by 4 
because ddx of 4x is 4. So it is divided by 4. And I am not writing c because this is definite integral. So I am using a big bracket here. Normally we call this third bracket. But anyway, so this bracket on the right side of this, you will write the values of x given. So this, this is the range. So you put the upper value and it is minus uh, 4 into 1.2. So it is 4.8 and divided by 4. And then this is actually one thing, including the minus sign. So be careful. This is minus from the rule of the calculation and inside there will be another minus okay so it will be minus cos 4 into 0.3 minus cos 4 into 0.3 so it is 1.2 so this is the upper portion and in the lower part you have only 4 so this is it now you calculate with your calculator and it is not really possible for me to calculate mentally okay so one thing is very important here when you do the calculation for this that is you have to okay in entire calculus okay this is very important in entire calculus maybe differentiation maybe integration maybe this rule that rule whatever all angles Okay, in entire calculus, angles are measured in radian units. Okay, so this is another important message you have to keep it in your brain. So, in exam, whenever you see that you need to do the calculation with sin x, cos x, tan x, sec x, this type of thing. In that case, your calculator should be in radian mood. So you change the mood. Uh, some of you are very familiar. Maybe you can just do it uh, in a second. But some of you may not be very familiar with this idea. Because if you are from a business background, then maybe you uh, did not use actually radian mood earlier. So this is important uh, time to learn this. So you change your calculator mood into radian and then you calculate this angle because this 4.8 is not a degree. Okay, be careful. This is not degree. Okay, so any angle for sine cos 10, this type of things in uh, differentiation or in integration will be in radian, not a degree. So this is cos 4.8 radian. Radian means a small c symbol. So 1.2 radian, okay, not degree. Now you can calculate in your calculator and then tell me the answer, what answer you are getting. So 0 0.0687. Okay, so that is good. So you have got this answer. So 0. Point, I'm just writing this answer. 0. Point 0 0.0687. 0 0.0687. Okay, so this answer is your answer. So that's it. Okay. Uh, is that okay up to this? Do you understand this thing? Yes. yes. Any any question you have up to this level? Okay, so this is important point. Just keep it in your brain that all sign cause 10 things will be in radian. So before answering the questions in the final exam or assignment, 
just change or check the mood in your calculator that has to be in radian mode and then uh, other calculation will be just as it is no uh, impact on that okay so automatically when you write or do this thing sign cross 10 so it will be automatically in radian mode so what i uh, want to say here for definite integral any type of question may come maybe u into v formula maybe function of function formula maybe sine maybe cos maybe e to the power x or root over whatever question can come uh, you will integrate as you already know there is no new trick for integration integration will be just as it is and then you after integration you just put the values what you have got say let us do another thing say this is 3x minus 2 root over and what will be the result if i put a value here say it is 1 and then uh, it is 3 no not 3 say 4 okay whatever there will be a fraction no problem let us take three so this is the question given so what you will do in the first line it, it is a function of function problem so how you will handle okay. it sir x to the power n formula x to the power n formula correct so what is the uh, formula or what is the answer you will get 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 I mean 3 x minus 2 actually the original power is half Yes, the sir. real power is half. So this is the basic formula. This is the basic formula. So basic formula is x to the power n formula and it will be the basic formula. So the next part is uh, function of function. Another <clears throat> uh, DDX you have to use because this is not really only x. It is actually 3x minus 2. So you have to divide this uh, for function of function situation, right? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay, then go to next line because it is finished. So you write 3x minus 2 whole to the power 3 by 2 and then divided by 3 by 2 and divided by 3. So what is actually coming finally? So 3 by 2, another 3 is coming. So 9 by 2. 9 by 2. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Now you use the third bit and write the numbers 1, 3, then you in the next line put the value 3 you first put the value 3 so what is the uh, answer it depends on your calculation but you have to maintain the serial order okay so you have to use 3 first so this is 3 into 3 minus 2 that means what? Nine, nine. 9 minus, Nine minus two. So, so 7, 7 to the power 3 by, three by 2, two. Right? Nine by and two. Then, then divided by 9 by 2, this is minus. 1, and then minus and put, put 1, so 3 into 1 minus 2, so only 1, 1 to the power 3 by 2, two. divided Nine by, by 9 by 2, okay, now let me Uh, 
কি বলো Okay, good. So now I'm happy. Okay, I, I was thinking something like this 3.89. Okay, good. So this is very close. So this is the answer and that's all. So in the next class, I will show you more problems. Uh, and I will also discuss the uh, graph on this. I will discuss uh, what is this value actually? What does that mean? Okay. Okay. What, 